Hey everyone, this is Good Money Stewart trying to adjust this thing to light and it doesn't seem to be wanting to cooperate with me today. We'll see how that works. But um, it's Wednesday. Yay! It's been a good day. My days seem to just get busier. I don't, and it always seems to happen around when the holidays coming, but I'm grateful for that. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope your Wednesday has been a blessed one. I have had a pretty good morning. Like I said, my days just go fast at the office here lately. Um, so I'm grateful for that. So I received more friend mail. And so I thought I would share that with you. If you're interested in seeing what I received, um, from one of the subscribers stay tuned and I will share that bit of news with you okay oh I want to say too um, I am seeing so many beautiful beautiful tablescapes and challenges and just you know on uh, you, the YouTube channel and then Instagram I do not at this time Am I on Facebook? Cut that for a bit. But on Instagram, I'm there. Um, you can either find me under, it's Tuna Girl 63 If you go into that, and I'm still trying to figure that out because I'm still not quite getting it right, but that is what I'm under. Um, just beautiful things I'm seeing all you guys do. But as I said, I'm not ready for that yet. But I'm laying things out that I want to do. I'm going to, I think, start with the porch. That's my air conditioning kicking on. You know what? It was supposed to be cool today. It is muggy hot. It is muggy hot. I am so ready to cut this air off, but I can't do it because the humidity, too, makes it feel like, oh, my God, you walk out, and it's like it just drapes over you. So I can't do that yet. Not ready. So, but let me show you I received another package in the mail and I did open it but I haven't opened it but I wanted to share this with you so I thank um, the person again this person has I guess a tremendous big heart because just thank you thank you so this is what it is and it says this is a set a cis check fall be thankful oh assist check fall be thankful print it's a dish towel and this is what it came in and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like I can't remember if I looked at this oh I love this oh my goodness Oh, this is beautiful. It says, eat, drink, eat, drink, and be thankful. Oh, my gosh. Can you guys see that? I, I know what I'm doing with this. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be my own personal pillow. Then this is the second part of it. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this. This is it's a two-piece. This is the second part of that. Oh my gosh. Shy, thank you. Not shy, shade. Thank you so much. Guys, you know I'm going to... I'm going to make a pillow out of this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That would be the back. And then this would be the front. Eat, drink, and be thankful. This is so nice. I'm loving this. I am simply loving this. Thank you so much. Oh, this is... And then the... It's in gold. 
it looks like glitter but it's not that is so nice you know I heard someone say something the other day and they said um, being able to bless others and that is something I firmly I firmly believe in um, and I, I, I know I got that from my parents my parents were the type of people who if they had it they would bless people and I believe that all my siblings have that we we don't mind helping people and I mean and I guess that's just something I guess we should think about as human beings um, there are people who always have their hands out they never want to give it's always a take thing and you call it what it is is selfishness because if you can never give to anybody and I mean when I say give that could be in giving a person um, a ride going by and checking on that person sending a person a thank you card or just a card saying I'm thinking about you it's a multitude of things you know the pass it on uh, if you're in line and you have the money now pay for that next person's um, drink or whatever and I have done and that is the most fantastic feeling to be able for somebody to pull up and they tell that person that person already paid for your stuff what <laughs> that is just so awesome so you know let us and I hate to say it this way with the holiday season coming up and it shouldn't just be the holiday season but it should be year round year round hold on just a second I hate my lighting is not the best, but I'm getting ready to fix that too because I'm going to give me one of them ring lights or whatever you call them. I received this. It was the end of Christmas last year, and it just moved me so that I made a copy of it. I hung one at work, and then I have this one here at home. And it says, when the carols have been still, when the star top tree is taken down, when family and friends are gone home when we are back to our schedules the work of Christmas begins to welcome the refuge to heal a broken planet to feed the hungry to bring bridges of trust not walls of fear to show our gifts to seek justice and peace for all people to bring Christ light to the world and this is it and I you know what I don't even know who I either saw it on something but it does Christmas is not just a day but Christmas should be throughout the year guys I mean why give gifts on one day when you could do it 365 days of the year 365 days and when I say gifts, that's gift of love, that's gift of comfort, that's gift of encouragement. It's just a multitude, a vast multitude of different things that we can do as human beings. But we seem to forget that. And sometimes, and some people might take this as an insult, but I'm going to say it. We get a lot of these organizations who just give big time at Christmas time. Why does it have to be at Christmas time? Why do families have to get together and give out big gifts at Christmas time? Why can't you just do it normally? You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I have issues with that. You know, because I don't wait to Christmas to start giving people gifts. I, they need them now. You need love now. You need understanding. You need a listener. You need. There's things. There's things. There's things. You know, and then. I'm not even going to get on that. But, you know, think about that. The work of Christmas begins every single day. That's even Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving rolls around. You know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion. You may not even agree with what I just said. But let not Christmas become a habit. Well, okay, it's that time of the year again. Who can we give something to? Or so I don't feel guilty because I have so much. If you have so much, 
then spread it around 365 days. 365 days. Think about the people you could bless. Three, you could bless 365 people. 365 people. That's a challenge. I'm even hearing myself. Okay, Dale, 365 days. You can bless somebody. 365 people. Because it's possible. It's possible. So let's think about that. Let's think about what we could do. Let's think about who we could. 360. And it and let's not let it not be people that you know. Okay. Sometimes think outside of the friend box. Think outside of the family box. Let's think about, you know, you're in a store, you see somebody, and for some reason, I call it the leading of the Spirit of the Lord. You may call it some something else. But when God speaks to my spirit and says, bless them, pay for their groceries, give the kids some money, say an encouraging word to them, I listen to that. So it's not always that materialistic stuff. It's about what you can say to encourage someone. And instead of walking with your head down, walk with your head up. And when you pass somebody, say, hi, how are you? I have a, I have a habit of that. I just do. Hi, how you doing? I can easily start up a conversation. That is a gift that God has given me. And when I was married, my husband used to say to me, how do you always seem to be making friends with people you don't even know? It's because it's nice to be nice. It's nice to speak. I worked with a lady some years ago. Her name was Ola Anderson. She said that my mother and my grandmother would never allow me to walk into a room and not say hello to someone. She said if I walked into a room and didn't speak to someone, my mother and grandmother were on me. But we have people that do that, will walk in and not say a word to nobody, walk right past you. Because I worked with a person like that, and so I got creative. They would walk past my cubicle, and I said, okay. And they would look over in there at me, see me, not say a word. So it was like, make you a sign. Make you a big enough sign so everybody sees the sign when they pass your cubicle. And the thing said, good morning, everyone. How are you? So I made the sign. I put it right at the edge of my cubicle. So when they passed it, they had to see it. And guess what? That changed the whole atmosphere. At first, some people were reluctant. They walked by and they looked at it and they were like, oh, good morning. And then it became a habit. And that same person had to start speaking to me. <laughs> Might not have wanted to. But brought it to their attention. So let us not, with the holidays coming up on us, get the holiday spirit. And then after the holiday is gone, we're back to our same old, nasty, unwelcoming, uncaring attitudes. Because we can all work on ourselves. We can. So I just wanted to come on, share my friend. Oh, and Lisa, Lisa, Lisa in paradise. You guys, this is why I always say, let's pray for one another. Lift her up in prayer. She she has had some um, issues with her health. So Lisa, I'm praying for you, knowing that God is going to touch your body. And Kiki, Shishi, I'm praying for you. I know that God is a God that can heal. And so I'm believing for miraculous healing for just everybody, anybody that's standing in need of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus right now, I lift up every one of the subscribers that come to this channel. And I just lift them up because I know that you love and that you care for them. And whatever they're facing today, Father, in the Son of Jesus' name, I pray that you would bring total healing, total peace, and total love. And with that, guys, be blessed, but most of all, know that God loves you. With that, bye-bye.